Hello everyone, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. This week I am using the Crafty Banana Spring Flower Wall Kit. I am so thrilled to use this kit. It's the first time that I'm using a Crafty Banana Kit and this one is absolutely stunning. It is the kit that introduced me to Brianna's store and I just cannot wait to lay this down. So the first thing that I'm doing here is actually cutting down these half boxes, these full boxes. So this kit um, is designed to form a scene along um, your planner spread. And the way that this is set up is that you've got the washi and then you've got the full boxes, which is standard full box size. And the full boxes are designed to stack directly on top of the washi so you've got a continuous scene um so i you know got you guys know that i like to have some white space in my spreads and i don't usually use bottom washi so what i ended up doing here was cutting the bottom washi down so it formed an extension of the full boxes so there was a gap between each full box um, and then I can stack them directly on top of each other like you can see that I'm doing here So I love the way this turned out. It worked out really well and, and you can see that I Managed to cut these down Perfectly with the use of my exacto knife and then my clear Erin Condren ruler And I'll have all my tools linked below in the description box so now I'm taking the full boxes and the washi pieces and extending the layout downwards as I usually do by lining up um, the bottom of the washi piece, I guess, with the last note signing there in Condren and then stacking the full box directly on top. And this floral wall is just beautiful. I love this beautiful watercolor painting artwork in this kit and it's stunning and I know with the crafty banana kits all her artwork is um, original so you don't run the risk of uh, buying too many kits of the same artwork and it's a nice point of difference when there's so many shops out there these days so now that I've got um, the washing in the full boxes down I'm going to move on to my sidebar so I'm just taking my whiteout tape and using that to cover up the thankful thought box and the flag um, in the sidebar because um, you can see that through the printing, especially with this full box here. That's got a white background and it's just got the word spring. Um, it is the first week of spring in uh, Australia. So this is why I saved this kit for this week. So I've got the full box there. Um, then I'm putting a habit tracker to track my work Instagram that I manage and then I'm using the weekly tracker that came in the kit with this week header to mark my daily spending and then I'm using an important header from the kit and the checkbox and I um, edited that down to four hearts only um, by placing the next header, the reminder header um, on top of that checkbox and then I just use some washi laid behind a half box which is also from the kit to track my social media statistics at the beginning and end of the week and then that's my sidebar completed and then I also cut down a work header as a flag to fit into that habit tracker as well and you can see that I've um, managed to alternate the colors of the header headers to like the dark from the dark peachy color and the red and alternated those there on the sidebar so it's like those little things that I think really pull the spread together so now that I got the sidebar done I'm working on the check boxes so I'm extending the layer upwards I use my white out tape again to white out the days of the week the dates and the headers so I can um, extend the layout upwards by lining up the top of the checkbox sticker with the top of the printed headers in the planner. And it was important that I use the whiteout to cover those because as you can see, you've, it's like a whitewashed brick, the pattern on these checkboxes, and you will definitely be able to see um, the printing through these. I love this whitewashed brick here. It matches, obviously, the um, 
a brick on the flower wall and I don't know it's nice and light and airy and of course very spring so I love that and now I'm taking the to-do headers that came in the kit and just alternating the colors the crafty banana kits come with color blocked headers so you can see that I'm doing that here so you get the red that peachy color um, it's like a dark burnt peach really um, the green and the yellow so um, unique color combination as well so it's you don't see this color combination or colors a lot in kits, so it was nice that it was changed up a bit. And now I'm taking my eyelash applicators and my today headers and placing those directly under the check boxes. And you can see that I used my whiteout tape again to cover up the printed headers, the second row of those in the planner. Um, now I'm taking the flags that come in the kit to cover up the flags on either page of the neutral Erin Condren. And now I'm working on my date cover. So the Crafting Banana Kit does come with the date cover washi and it was the same um, brick pattern. I don't like date cover washi strips because um, I like that white space in between. And also I wasn't too keen on all of that same pattern everywhere. So I pulled in these gold foiled, um, kind of like a dark, well, like a dark orangey red. It matched really well watercolor from rose colored days and i just put those down directly on top of the um to do headers and i think these worked out perfectly i also use the clear dots from rose colored days and they are great because they don't interfere with the pattern on your um date covers so now that I've got that down, I just moved on to the side about and used my Instagram and YouTube stickers from uh, Planning Roses. And I'm also popping in uh, the full week spread and half week spread uh, script icons from Sticker Sis onto my checklists. And then um, the weekend banner, so I just placed some washi underneath the weekend banner and place that on top just because I had the headers and the white out there and now um, moving on to Friday I guess I popped a yellow build you sticker which is from planner Jones because I have a build you on Friday and then I also am pulling in these gold foiled work um, labels from a simply watercolor co um, and I do have a discount code for Simply Watercolor Co. It's Natalie 15 for 15% off. And I also have one for Sticker Sis. I think it's an of 20 for 20% off. So definitely check out those shops and I'll have all of the shops that I have coupon codes for down below. Um, I'm using those like thinner work labels because obviously I don't have as much space as I usually do. I just have probably like one and a quarter Erin Condren size full boxes to pop in all my daily events. So that's why I chose to pull in those stickers this week. And also I wanted to put in, pull in gold foil because I thought it would really complement this spread. And obviously I pulled in that gold foil on the date covers as well. So what I ended up doing here was just lifting up the full boxes and covering up the printed header that was there with some white out because I noticed I hadn't done that before and I definitely needed to do it. Um, so after that was done, I just popped a, a package little thing on Friday down the bottom there because I'm expecting a package from my US, which is the forwarding service that I use for all my mail from the US. Um, it's a uh, really cost effective and especially if you um, shop for stickers and makeup like me so um, I'll have a link to that down below as well and now um, on Thursday I have my little mystery box from Little Miss Papery renewing so I purchased this Allen B Renew sticker which is so cute from Allen P of course and I just layered that underneath the header there with some washi strips so I created my own build you label I guess and then moving on to the beginning of the week, I just used a heart little thing on Monday to mark that it's week nine of the semester. Then a, a asterisk little thing on Tuesday to mark my um, uh, savings challenge. And then I used little things on Wednesday and Monday and covered up the icon with these little payday icons from Little Miss Papery because I have paydays those days and I never use the meal icons in the kit so it's that's a good way to use little things that you don't 
um, have a use for is by placing little icons on top. So I thought that worked really well. And then you can see that on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday and Tuesday, <laughs> um, I placed the Simply Watercolor Co work label because I am going to work. So I mapped out that schedule. And then the Planner Boss Collective sale is on Friday. So I just used a little icon from the kit to mark that. And then moving on to Monday, I have a driving lesson. So I used a Planning World Gold Foil icon with that. And then a Time Dot from Squirrel Prints Co. And then I do need to film some hauls. So I used a washi strip as a label from the kit with this red um, filming slate from Luminosity Prints. And then I also used a green little label from Little Miss Papery. Um, with a TV label for Outlander and Teen Wolf, which is on that night. And then moving on to Friday, you can see that I replaced that shopping icon with a gold foil shopping bag from Simply Watercolor Co. I just thought that looked really pretty and I wanted to use those. And then on the weekend for filming, I used a half box with a planner from Hello Petite Paper and that filming slate from Luminosity Prints to fill my weekly and monthly plan with me for October. And then on Sunday, I do want to edit, so I used another green label from Quarterbox, actually, from Little Miss Papery with a Simply Watercolor Co. foiled laptop, which is so cute. And then I did go back to Monday and just um, placed a gold foiled bow sticker from Clever Girl Crafts to mark studying that I need to do for my test that is on Thursday. So... There's that one on Monday, and then I just used another bow with a teardrop, which is really cute, on Tuesday. And then I used the bow with a little thing on um, Wednesday to mark that. And then moving on to Thursday, you can see here that I used a label from Scribble Prints Co. with a test today. Um, script sticker from Let's Make It Sparkle and I love those to mark my test and then I popped a half box in there I need to bake some cupcakes for my cousin's birthday and then there was this cute little cupcake deco that came in the kit so that worked out really well um, to mark that so I've used that as an icon there and then I did swap out the color of the um, little thing on um, Friday and you can see that I did go off camera and fill everything out with my Muji gel pen in 0.5. And you can see that I'm pointing out some stickers that I added. So I added the record and study scripts um, from Mandy Plans and the pre-upload on Sunday. And I love those. I thought they went really well with this spread. And then I also added um, some of the Scribble Prints Co. Time Dots to mark um, the PBC sale because um, I know that starts at 11 p.m. Melbourne time so if you're in the Australian Eastern Standard time zone um, that's when it starts so um, I did have to work that out which is like not great. Um, I also added a gold foiled dollar sign sticker on Thursday from Planning World. I think that looks really pretty and I can just write how much the LMB Renew worked out to be. Um, so yeah, that's all the stickers down from this spread. I'm really happy with the way that looks at the moment and I really like all the scripts in there and I think that's why the Mandy plans work so well because I had a lot of those script icons. So now I'm showing you the tools that I use. So I did fill everything out with the Muji gel pen in 0.5 millimeters, which is my absolute favorite pen for my planner. And now I'm going in with some of the deco. There was quite a bit of deco in this kit. I um, didn't use all of it though. I just picked out pieces that I really liked. So on the weekend, I wanted to layer this gorgeous bike with the bundle of flowers there with this gorgeous girl um, um, in a spring dress and a flower crown and um, these like vine sandals. So pretty. Um, and I did choose the biggest like decorative gill. There were three sizes. So I'm not going to sure what I'm going to do with the rest of them, but I uh, incorporated them into a notes page or something like that. You can see I'm like having trouble trying to put it down. I just wanted to get it in the perfect spot. Um, I should also mention that this is an older crafty banana kit and it didn't come with any labels or quarter boxes or anything like that, which made it difficult. So you could see, obviously, I had to pull in lots of labels um, and teardrops 
and a, like quarter boxes from my own collection. So, um, but I think her kits might come with four quarter boxes now because I think she reformed it, matted it. But you guys know how much I love labels, so it's important for me to have like labels or quarter boxes in a kit. So I've got that deco down on the weekend there, and now moving on to the sidebar, I chose to include these gumboots with the flowers growing out of them because I thought they were really cute. And this gorgeous floral bouquet I decided to put down on the bottom there where the reminder box is, um, and it looks super pretty. And you can see that I'm using my eyelash applicators to place those down just so that they're in the perfect spot. And I find it much easier to use tweezers or eyelash applicators to um, place down stickers, especially skinny ones like the headers. And I always have links to all the tools that I use to Amazon in my description box, so you can check that out there. And I decided to pop the little um, butterfly on top of the flag there um, on the left side of the page just because I thought it was missing something. It needed a bit more color there and the flag looked pretty plain. But yeah, that's all the deco down now. I'm showing you the rest of the tools. That's the X-Acto knife from Fiskars that I used, my scissors and whiteout tape I purchased from Kmart. It's really inexpensive and it works really well. My eyelash applicators, again, um, the Muji gel pen is 0.5 millimeters again, which is my favorite. And then the clear Erin Condren ruler, which is always really handy because you can see through it so you know you're not cutting in the wrong place. So that's the finished spread. I really hope that you liked it. Uh, this is all I have left in the kit, enough to fill out the rest of the week and then some. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, make sure to check out all the links down below. Please like this video, um, comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Scribbles, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.